In this video, we'll be working through question 2.1 of Math Lit Paper 1, November 21. If you'd like to download a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. So, let's get started. Question 2.1. Mrs. Smith would like to buy a car but does not have the full cash amount. She downloaded two payment options for two different cars as shown in table 2 below. So, table 2 shows the payment options for two different cars. When we analyze table 2, we see that we are given three headings in the first row. Now, in the first column, we have the heading item that lists the payment features of the two cars. The second and third column is assigned to the two cars, that is the Ford Figo and the VW Polo. In the second row, we have the retail or cash price that includes VAT for the two cars. Now the third row lists deposits as percentages. And in the fourth row we are given the monthly installment amounts of both cars. The fifth row lists the residual value. We see that we are given a percentage for the Ford Figo and a RAND value for the VW Polo. In the sixth row we have a list of the monthly admin fee that is not included in the monthly installment. We have a RAND value that is given for the Ford Figo and a percentage of the monthly installment amount is given for the VW Polo. In the 7th row we have a list of the term agreement in months and in the 8th row we are given a VAT percentage of 15%. There is a note below the table that states that the residual value is the last month's payment. We are instructed to use table 2 above to answer the questions that follow. Question 2.1.1 State what type of payment option is shown in table 2. So any one of the following payment options is correct. A higher purchase agreement or HP, installment payment, loan agreement, monthly installment, credit option, credit, balloon payment option or residual payment option. Question 2.1.2 Calculate the deposit amount for the Ford Figo. So from table 2, the deposit is listed as 5% of the retail price of 215,100 Rand. So the deposit for the Ford Figo is 215,100 Rand multiplied by 5 over 100 and that gives us a value of 10,755 Rand. 2.1.3 Write down in simplified form the ratio of the term agreement of the Ford Figo to the VW Polo. Since the question mentions the Ford Figo first and then the VW Polo, the ratio has to be written like this. Ford Figo to VW Polo. From the table, the term agreement for the Ford Figo and VW Polo is 72 and 48 months. So the ratio of Ford Figo to VW Polo is 72 to 48. So to write this ratio in simplified form, we have to consider the factors of these two numbers in order to identify the highest common factor. The factors of 72 is this and the factors of 48 is this. So we can see that the highest common factor of 72 and 48 is 24. So when we divide 72 and 48 by 24, we get a simplified form for the term agreement of the Ford Figo 2 VW Polo of 3 to 2. Question 2.1.4. Which one of the following two vehicles will be the most cost effective in terms of monthly budget? For monthly budget, we have to take into account the monthly installment amount and the monthly admin fee for each car. For the Ford Figo, the monthly installment amount is 2,999 Rand and the monthly admin fee is 69 Rand. So the total monthly budget for the Ford Figo will equal 2,999 Rand plus 69 Rand and that equals 3,068 Rand. So now we can see that this amount is still less than the monthly installment amount of the VW Polo. So the most cost effective vehicle in terms of monthly budget is the Ford Figo. 2.1.5 Calculate the total cost of the VW Polo if the monthly installment remained the same throughout the contract period except for the final payment. 
you may use the following formula. Total cost equals the total value of monthly installments plus admin fees plus residual value. So the plan for solving this question is to calculate the cost of the total value of the monthly installments, the total admin fees, and add them to the residual value of the VW Polo to find the total cost. So from the table for the VW Polo, the installment amount is 3,345 Rand per month. The admin fee is 2,08% of the monthly installment and the residual value is 116,759 Rand. The term agreement is 48 months but the last payment is a residual value so when we calculate the total monthly installment and admin fees it will be over 47 months. The total value of the monthly installment is 3,345 Rand per month multiplied by 47 months and that gives us a value of 157,215 Rand. The admin fees are calculated in two steps. First, the RAND value of the admin fee for one month is calculated as 2,08 divided by 100 multiplied by 3,345 RAND per month and this equals 69,576 RAND per month. Rounded off to two decimal places will give us a value of 69 RAND 58 cents per month. Now the total admin fee over the term agreement is 69 Rand 58 cents per month multiplied by 47 months and this equals 3,270 Rand 26 cents. Now using the formula that was given, the total cost equals the total monthly installments of 157,215 Rand plus the admin fee of 3,270 Rand and 26 cents plus the residual value of 116,759 Rand and that equals 277,244 Rand and 26 cents. 2.1.6 Mrs. Smith invested 60,000 Rand at a bank for two years with compound interest. In the first year, she received an interest rate of 4,3% per annum, while in the second year, the interest rate was 5,1% per annum. Mrs. Smith stated that she would have enough money at the end of the second year to pay the residual value of the Ford Figo. Verify showing all calculations whether the statement is correct. So the total interest of the year 1 is 4,3 divided by 100 multiplied by 60,000 Rand and this equals 2,580 Rand. An investment amount at the end of year 1 is 60,000 Rand plus 2,580 Rand and this equals 62,580 Rand. The interest earned from her investment of the year 2 is 5,1 divided by 100 multiplied by the investment amount at the end of year 1 of 62,580 Rand and this equals 3,191 Rand and 58 cents. So her investment amount at the end of year 2 is 62,580 Rand plus 3,191 Rand and 58 cents and this equals 65,771 Rand and 58 cents. From the table, the residual value of the Ford Figo is given as 30% of the retail price. So, the residual value of the Ford Figo is equal to 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 215,100 Rand. And this gives us a value of 64,530 Rand. Comparing the investment amount to the residual value, we see that the investment amount is greater than the residual value. Therefore, a statement is correct. And that's going to be it for this question. If you found this video helpful and you want to learn more, you can check out this video next.